this is RTL and uh, next we will open the test bench so you can see so this is the test bench and then we will verify the RTL using the test bench in Symbison so uh, I'm opening that uh, using some command I run so you can see so you yeah, opening Symbison and then uh, and that's simulating and then you can see waveform has come and I am going for some part so that it uh, we can say uh, functionality wise it is coming or not this is counter okay so it was correct and then what we are going to do next uh, is like uh, wait what will come okay so next step is coverage so we will uh, we will see how much coverage is uh, coverage of the design uh, code coverage functional coverage these all things will be done uh, so on uh, this you can see uh, percentage wise you can see code coverage uh, variable you can see the reset is 0% and other clock and uh, uh, is hundred percent. So in this case, coverage has been done. Cover coverage analysis. Next is uh, uh, we will do the synthesis. So for synthesis, genus is used, and uh, we will open that. Okay. So you can see uh, this is the schematic view of the net list. Uh, you can see also the net list okay so this is the rtl uh, i will show you also the net list part let's see where it is it is in the output so we can open uh, so this is the net list you can see in the uh, using library it has been taken and then you can also see some what is this this is the area uh, reports we are seeing okay so we can see now constant okay so clock is how much clock you are taking these are the constant and then next step is okay, we are doing something uh, what we did exactly okay so this is we have inserted the scan chain so for dft we have to use a scan chain uh, okay so that part we did and now we will uh, you can see in the net list the scan in and a scan out has been inserted okay so this is a scan chain insertion process next step is like we will verify that uh, our design using the modus okay so for this case modus was not but not is not working because of the uh, uh, old version so we have left that process uh, verification dft test now we will go for the um, let's see uh, we will go for some logic equivalence i think okay so let's see okay for logic equivalence we have to write do file okay so we uh, already we have taken and then we are uh, yes so conformal is the tool which is used and you can see the logic equivalence has come correctly okay so it is correct now we will go for the backend design for that we have opened in opus okay and so we will load the design first these are the uh, like menu we are loading the design and then the left file and the uh, net list file and then there will be vdd and vss for the power supply and uh, corner mmc is we have loaded and we will see that this is the flow plan okay so we have loaded the design and using uh, control uh, like uh, shortcut key f we have we want to see we can see okay. so this is the file we are seeing that to our net list file now we will do the floor plan so this uh, floor plan we are giving some code to die area uh, from where we can take the power supply okay so uh, see this has been changed to some distance and then we can give vdd and vss And then what will be the metal layer metal layer 1 1 11 and metal 10 and what should be the width of that strip uh, and uh, what should be the uh, like all things we have taken and now again we will do some uh, 
like we will add rail okay bdd and uh, in the core area so yes uh, this vertical uh, rail has been added and uh, horizontal we will also add now we are saving that floor plan uh, part design now uh, railing yes rotting power rotting we can say this okay yes you can see the horizontal part also has been added now what we will do next i think we will do the placement okay so we are reading depth file and then a scan and then we run for placement optimization and if you will see you can see that all the cell has been come here and it is placed okay so placement has been done now we will do we can see the we can also see the scanf has been added now we are saving that uh, placement design okay after that we can see after placement what should be dotting clock tree synthesis or what clock tree synthesis now we are doing okay I'm not going for checking all uh, in details only writing and seeing what are the state feature involved then optimization BD and then nano rod Actually, uh, we have to do nano rod manually because one error was coming. So we have to do this. Next step is uh, we are extracting the RC uh, RC extraction. The spec file is you, uh, you can see. Now we are doing the static timing analysis, timing analysis basically. Okay, so there you can see the hold uh, setup and hold delay. These all things. So what are the violation happening or not? So this in the details, and then we are checking for DRC. Okay, so we are doing DRC check, design rule check. I think it is also getting passed. No error is coming. So we are going again for power analysis of this. Uh, this or placement clock tracing whatever has been done we are we have to analyze the power in details it is going to be done one by one you can see because main thing is like power checking now if it is taking more power then it is not okay so you can see the cell wise uh, how much power leakage power uh, all power has been analyzed and then next step is like so these all are the part of power analysis you have to select uh, in the uh, area in GUI mode but I was not able to get it so it, it is taking time and finally I understood what we have to do yes crossbar was coming these all things have been done and then what will be next one more we have to add So these all are the part of power analysis. We are saving that counter PP power plan, and then we will do we will report that power here. Here you can see uh, from here you can also analyze the IR drop. These all things will be done in the doing these all. See, 
there is the option for i draw so now we will uh, save that uh, uh, that power uh, part and then and then what is when we are uh, okay we are adding the filler cell and the area which are unused like you can see the only the black part in the core part and after adding the filler cell it is getting filled okay so now finally is we are saving the gds2 so finally we have uh, completed rtl2 gds okay now you can see there is a counter okay this one gds file has been saved so thank you guys thank you for watching if you have any co uh, comment please do comment it in the comment section